Students hate this one. It's equilibrium and Le Chatelier's principle. It says here, we've got a reversible reaction and the forward reaction is endothermic. Predict the effect of increasing the temperature on the amount of chlorine gas produced at equilibrium and use Le Chatelier's principle. So if the forward reaction is endothermic, it automatically means that the backward reaction must be exothermic. So let's remind ourselves of Le Chatelier's principle. If a change is made on this system at equilibrium, the system will try to counteract the change. In other words, it will try to do the opposite. So if you're increasing the temperature, the system's going to try and counteract that increase. How can it decrease the temperature? It's going to go to the side which decreases temperature. So out of endothermic and exothermic reactions, endothermic reactions reduce the temperature, whereas an exothermic reaction increases the temperature. So it would favor the right-hand side of the reaction, not the left-hand side. So on the right-hand side, if we look at our reaction, we've got H2 and Cl2, and the question specifically asking about what will happen to chlorine gas. So shift to the side with the products, which is the right-hand side, and that will mean there's going to be more chlorine and hydrogen and less hydrogen chloride. So for this answer, for two marks, we can first say, the system counteracts the change by shifting to the endothermic side, which is the right side of the reaction. That's one mark there. Therefore, the amount of chlorine increases. Now for the next part, it says, explain the effect of increasing the pressure. So this question is all about pressure. So for temperature, it's all about whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Pressure, it's something else. It's all to do with the number of molecules you have, the number of moles you have on the left-hand side of the reaction and on the right-hand side of the reaction. So if we count the number of molecules, you'll see here, we've got a two here, which indicates there are two HCl molecules here. So we have two molecules on the left. And on the right, we've got one H2 and one Cl2 added together. That also makes two molecules. If you ever have the same number of molecules on the left and on the right, increasing or decreasing the pressure doesn't shift their equilibrium. It will stay the same. If one side was bigger than the other and you increase the pressure, it will go to the side with fewer molecules. But because they're both the same, you'll just say there are equal molecules on the left and on the right of the equation, so there is no change. 